Hey guys, this is Angie at Chicken Scratch, and today is Tuesday, June 13th. If you can hear me, let me know if you're watching the live. If you're watching the recording, thank you so much for watching. These are the projects, or this is the project that we're making tonight. Isn't it so pretty? Okay, I don't see a comment yet. Okay, hi Nancy, hi Cliffy and Dawn. Okay, you guys can hear me? Perfect. I just posted the, um, okay, thanks Patricia for letting me know you guys can hear me over on um, Facebook, YouTube and Facebook. How are y'all doing? No mishaps today and I'm right on time. Hi, Kathy. Um, okay, so while everyone is arriving, I just posted the link um, in the comment section. So if you're on um, YouTube, it's in the chat box. And if you're on Facebook, it's in the comment section. So I just posted the link to enter to win the live chick candy that we're going to be giving away. And I'm going to show you guys that really quick before we get started. Okay, so um, the first item is a Stampin' Mat, brand new Stampin' Mat. The second item is At The Pond Stamp Set. And the third item is Sit, Stay, and Relax Stamp Set. This one was really cute. I never, I never did use it, but I love the greetings in this one. Okay, so I've posted the link in the comment section. Um, we're going to have uh, the drawing at the very, very end. The winner for last week's um, YouTube... Ch okay, hold on. Let me mute this. I'm so sorry. Um, okay, I turned my phone off. Now i got to turn my watch off. I don't know why. Like, I've been in my studio for, I don't know, all day. And it hasn't been dinging at all. And then the minute the camera goes live, boom, notifications. <laughs> um, so last week, this was the YouTube Chick Candy. And I said that you had a whole week to leave a comment on last week's video, which was that uh, fishing lure box. And our winner, hold on, let me put my eyes on here. Um, the winner was... I think this is it. Let's see. Yes. So, Judy, if you are watching, um, let me put this up here. You won the uh, fabric basket, the large fabric basket, the paper. So, I need your um, mail and address. So, if you'll email me, and I'll give you that. Um, here's my email. Can you see that? There you go. Okay. We're going to have um, another YouTube Chick Candy, and I'll announce that one in a little bit, okay? I'm going to remove these off of here so y'all can see the project tonight. So we are, um, hi Michelle, um, we're crazy busy cutting for um, Card Club right now. So this morning I was like, I really need a simple, a really super simple project to make tonight because I really do need to get back in there and, and do some more cutting and start working on the packets. So this box, um, and I also, our paper is on sale for the month of June. And when I was looking through my orders, let's see, here's the flyer. So um, June 1st through the 30th, I'm going to take that off the screen. We're going to look at the the, um, the PDF real quick. So the pack of paper that we're using tonight, it's normally $30 because it's a big old pack of paper. What it, Does it say how many sheets is in it? I think there's 48 sheets. Uh, it's a big pack of paper. But both of these papers is in that pack of paper. Um, okay, let me take this off because I'm going to show you the paper chart so that you can see all the designs. So here's the uh, two pages. Let's see, yeah. Um, 
It's actually a fabulous pack of paper. Oh wait, let me make my face smaller. Goodness gracious. Put myself in the corner. Um, so here's this one. And then this one is here. So these two. And then I started this one. Like this is this is where I began. And I was like, oh, that's so pretty. I love it. Um, and not sure why I went in the direction of um, petal pink. I think I wasn't real sure if this was, um, it is fresh freesia. I didn't know if it was bubble bath or fresh freesia, but now that I'm looking at the paper chart, I see that I could have used fresh freesia. Anyway, but we're going to make this one. I am not going to remake this one tonight because like I said, I've got to get card club done. Even though it's the 13th and I say it's not going to ship till the 20th, I like um, shipping it early. And Pam, yes, my paper shares, I always do them right before um, the paper goes live. And so paper shares were when? May? Yeah, back in May, long time ago. Um, yeah, sorry you missed it. Okay, so I have all the supplies ready. The box is made, oh, I guess you guys wanna see what's inside, don't you? So for this, you can either untie it or you can just slide the ribbon off. Now I will tell you, I've made this box before like forever ago and I did try to find it. I know that the color was like Coastal Cabana um, and I can remember it vividly, but I could not find it on my blog. When I made it before, I, I um, I closed it here so I put a little tag thing there and a thing here and then I used twine to close it but we're not doing that today anyway so I have four <laughs> David came in here earlier and he's like moon pies um, so I have four mini moon pies in this box but it is a cookie box yeah so we're calling it I'm calling it a rectangle paper box but it will hold four mini moon pies. You get these at the Dollar Tree. Um, or you can put real cookies in there. It will also hold other things. Um, and I will show you that uh, when, we make, when we make the other box. Okay. I just think it's so pretty. Um... This one, I think I put moon pies in it too. So we're making the girly version because last week we used that stamp set. Uh, and I wanna show y'all how to do this. Um, it is a little, um, what's the word I wanna use? It's a little flimsy when you're using designer series paper. So you can reinforce it if you want by taking your entire sheet. So let me explain. You can take this 12 by 12 sheet and glue it right on top of a piece of basic white 12 by 12 cardstock. You do need 12 by 12 cardstock, and I know a lot of y'all don't have 12 by 12 cardstock. Some of you do, some of you don't, especially the scrapbookers do. But you can take this and glue it right on top of the basic white layer. Your other option is you can just make it with basic white cardstock or crumb cake cardstock, and then just decorate it with pieces. You know, like you would measure the front and then make it just a quarter inch smaller on all four sides. You're right, uh, macarons, macarons or mac, macaron, macaroon? I don't know how to pronounce it. I would have been able to pronounce it earlier, but now that I'm sit, sitting here, um, Looking at your comment, I'm like, okay, which way is it pronounced? Because we used to have mint macaron as a color, but I don't think the cookie is pronounced macaron. I think it's called mac... I don't know. <laughs> Y'all can laugh with me, right? I don't need the mouse. Okay, so 12 by 12. We are not going to cut, cut any of that off. Once we score it, we will. I've got to put my keyboard up here. I don't want to accidentally hit it. Okay, now, oh, I should have got my Simply Score scoring tool out. I keep it in this little ledge here on my island here. Okay, so this is going to be box template uh, 116, and it already is ready. So here's the box template. Um, yeah, 
So that'll be on my blog tomorrow. This box does measure six inches by three inches by two and a half. I'll take that off the screen. So on this, on this first side, we're gonna score at three inches and nine. And then we're gonna turn it and we're gonna score it at one inch, three and a half, inches, six and a half, and nine. Okay. I'm not even going to put that back in that spot. I look a little crazy doing it. Okay, so I'm going to fold on the score lines, and I'm going to burnish with my bone folder. Yeah, so don't forget, there is a paper sale. And if you guys, those of you, um, uh, so Shauna asked, if I left the side flaps, would it make it sturdier? You know, we can look at, we can look at that in a minute, but it seems like when I made it like forever ago, it's gonna drive me crazy if I don't find that box. I know I still have it, because when we were packing to move, I remember, packing it. I just don't remember where I packed it. <laughs> and that was almost three years ago. Can you believe that? Um, there was a reason why I didn't, but you know what? We'll look at it and we'll see. Okay, so I have, I like better just using plain old regular cardstock or just gluing this on. Maybe I should have done that, but um, we can always remake it, right? Because I know someone's going to ask me to make this box smaller, and um, I would be happy to. So step number one. Okay, so if we're going to try to not remove that section, um, which flap would that be? Hmm. Let me take this apart. Let me see. So she said, see the problem, hmm, so the problem would be, okay, let, let me try. What? I don't know if I can do it. Shauna, I will try it eventually, um, but I don't think I can do it tonight. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Yeah. Um. I can't see for the lights. I like the lights, but I can't see. I wanna make sure I cut right on the line. So we're removing. I cannot see. See any better on this side? Probably. Goodness gracious, that belt made me jump out of my seat. I can't see it. I need like um Oh, now I can. There we go. Okay, so that's where this uh, one inch section is right here at the top. So this is the top of our box. That's this piece right here. Now we're gonna come down here and we're going to cut. Actually, let's go back to the top. We're going to continue cutting down to that next score line. See, if I hold it up here, y'all can't see me cutting. But if I hold it where y'all can see it, then I can't see it myself. OK. 
Okay, goodness gracious, come on. There we go. Now, so here's what we've got so far. So now we gotta do the same thing down here. We're gonna cut up to that score line. And the same thing over here. Okay, and I'm gonna show you this in plain paper, okay? So here's what it looks like in plain paper. Okay? Yeah. So these four tabs, these are really big tabs, I'm gonna trim, I always say angle cut, so I'm gonna angle cut those. And then after we do that, we will be ready to assemble the box. Remember back when we had textured cardstock? That made, in fact, I think uh, I made this box a long time ago with our textured cardstock. I did. I remember it now. Don't ask me what date though. I was thinking that maybe it was 2009 or 2010. I, I did look for about 20 minutes and then I was like, what's the chances? I tried searching. Normally the search box works pretty well on my blog, but I really could not figure out what, I don't know what I named it, what I called it. I thought I called it the cookie box, but I, I, it didn't pop up. I used to make these dream cookies and give them to the neighbors when they moved into our neighborhood. They are the most fabulous cookies. They're so good that you, that I found myself eating them for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I haven't made them in forever because I can't, I can't not eat the whole batch. They're so good. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put adhesive on this block and on this block, and then we're gonna build the walls. So I'm gonna start here and do these two first. I found that that's a lot easier than doing one side and then doing the other. It's, it's best to start, yeah, up here. Hopefully I'm making sense. Dave went um, on a fishing tournament this week, this past weekend, and I was here alone. And I probably should have been cutting for card club, but I, but when he goes out of town, I always say when the cat's away, the mice play. I always use that time to um, come up with a new pattern for sewing. Um, people have been asking me to make the small tote larger, and it requires. <laughs> requires a lot of thinking on my part, like uninterrupted thinking, and that doesn't happen when David's here. So when he went fishing this weekend, I uh, I sewed, yes. And one night I stayed up till one in the morning. I just couldn't go to bed until I got it all figured out. Yeah, I was like, I'm too old to be staying up till one in the morning, but I did it. Okay. So now there's that part. Now we just gotta do the same thing here, okay? So I'll do this first. Lola says she still has some of that 12 by 12 card stock. I wish it would come back too. It was great for boxes. And I know I'm, I had a few people request that I make a fun fold card. Y'all know my brain does not understand fun fold cards. I, I They do sometimes, but when I'm in the middle of cutting for card club, I have to just do what what's my strength because if I tried something new tonight, something taxing, I would be like in a fetal position. I'd be like too stressed. <laughs> I'd be too stressed out. Yeah. I got too much manual labor to do. Okay. There we go. 
Now, someone mentioned earlier about reinforcing the bottom. Um, in one, in one that I made earlier, you can cut cardstock and you can put it in the bottom like that if you want to. That makes it a little bit sturdier. I did not, I did not write that measurement down though. So let me see if I can get it back out of there. So this measures um, six by two and a half, approximately. I would say cut it to measure like five and nine sixteenths by two and seven sixteenths. You know what I mean? Yeah. And um, these cookies will fit in there too. I got those at the Dollar Tree as well. I've never seen this brand, but they look kind of good. Vanilla cream. Okay, so now this just folds over like that. Now you can tuck this in if you want to, if you like that look, but I kind of feel like it makes the box look a little, a little more fragile. I like that it's out, so we're gonna leave it out and we're gonna take the ribbon and wrap it around. Thanks, Lisa. Uh, does the daisy punch work to cut the daisy out? Uh, I know I have some demonstrator friends on here, so somebody tell me. Do we? Does it? Um, didn't the daisy punch retire? The, da the daisy punch retired, but... And it's not in here anymore because when things retire, it leaves the shelf. I don't want to waste this ribbon. I actually really love this ribbon. When the catalog came out, I was like, there's no white ribbon. What am I going to do? Well, this is white. Um, it's kind of big for a card, but I'm just so glad to have white ribbon. Okay. I always say I got to stop talking to tie my ribbon. Otherwise, I'll mess up. makes beautiful bows, doesn't it? Let's see. So pretty. Love it. I should put this back in here so y'all can see it, right? Oh, what's the question? The the punch? Yeah, I don't have the punch in here, so I don't I don't even know. Um, okay, so I'm gonna show y'all really quick how I did this. Okay, um, I try to always use just Stampin' Up product and just current product, not retired product. So when I went to design this box today, I I found this uh, silver threaded twine and I wrapped it around a few times and it was really thick and I was like oh girl I don't like it it's too I don't know it, it just was too thick so what I did is I took my take your pick tool and I um, unbraided it because it is braided and I, I didn't check the clock on how long it took me, but I can safely say that you probably don't want to go this route because I kept thinking, oh, I've got to give up. This is taking way too long. Um, it, I used 26 inches, so I would say, you know, do this 13 inches from one side and then, and then go from the other direction and do it and also do it because as the pieces got longer it got more and more difficult or you can just use like stuff you buy at the store or amazon but i'm i was trying to use only stampin up products so that's really what i did 26 inches and then all of this came from this is not like multiple pieces it was just one piece that i unbraided <laughs> I'm laughing because I, at one point I was just like, okay, I'm going to stop. I, I can't finish this. It's taking too long. But 
I didn't. I kept going. Um, so now we're going to um, finish this box. I'm using the embellishment is the iridescent rhinestones. The dies that we're using is Love For You, so that For You is in the Love For You dies, and then the little banner piece is in the, what's the name of this? I always forget it. Nested Essentials, I think. I haven't made my, yes, Nested Essentials. I love this set of dies. If you don't have it, I've used it quite a bit in the last couple months, so I think you will not regret getting it. So I've already cut this piece out and I'm gonna use a 1 8 inch circle punch. I'm making the hole for the twine first so that when I get the greeting, I can place it around that hole, okay? So now I've got a piece of basic white and a piece of um, petal pink and I'm gonna attach it to the adhesive sheets because we're going to use the adhesive sheets um, for die cutting so that the adhesive is already going to be on there. Sometimes I, well, a lot of times I always say I forget to use the adhesive sheets. But not tonight. I remembered. And then I'm going to add the basic white piece. I miss the white seam binding too. <laughs> okay. So now I'm just going to use my scissors to cut that. I want to save this for a future project, don't want to get rid of that. So this is what we're gonna die cut on. So the petal pink is gonna be that, that die and then the basic white is gonna be this one. Let me slide this over, ruh row. I don't wanna destroy that getting my die cut machine we had our team call today and we were discussing um whether to die cut on screen or not and so i was like oh okay i'm i'm not gonna die cut on screen anymore and then i was like okay i have to show die cutting on the screen tonight because some people are like me and they get confused about using the adhesive sheets. I don't know why it always used to confuse me. I'm not confused anymore, but I used to get really confused about how to use them, which as you can see is really simple. Sometimes we think things are harder than what they are. Kind of like fun fold cards for me. might have to use the um, take your pick tool to get the pieces out of there. Let me fold this up. Uh, Patricia, what was your question? What is the formula I use for boxes? I don't really have a formula. I just start cutting and cutting and scoring and it really makes not much sense but to me it does yeah <laughs> I wish I could I wish I had a formula or one that I could explain I went live once years ago back when I used to go live on Ustream and I um, designed a box on the fly right then and there and uh, were any of y'all on that video do y'all remember that
I think people that are really good with formulas and math and what have you, they, um, they're probably better at, at making boxes than me. I tend to waste a lot of paper. That's why I keep a lot of my retired paper. Um, I use it to create templates. In fact, I don't even know what color this is. It might be daffodil. I don't know. Yeah. It might be. I don't know. Okay, there is that. I do not want to lose these dies. Put it back on my magnet sheet. Now, <laughs> I need my silicone craft sheet. Uh, what pick tool am I using? I'm using our Take Your Pick tool. I just have a hot glue gun finger protector on the end of it. Yeah, so it's just our Take Your Pick tool. Okay, so now I'm going to place this part on here. And then the hardest part now is getting the backing from the adhesive sheet off of this without demolishing it. If you can just get one edge peeled up, there we go. <laughs> okay, this one's done. And then now we're going to attach it. There we go. Now this one. Sometimes I say you gotta hold your mouth right. Okay, there's that. Now we have to go through that same thing again um, to add this one. <laughs> Actually, I think I wanna add, well, let's, let's figure out the placement first because once we, um, let's see, how did I do this before? So this one's up here and yes, so it's half hanging off, the U is, yeah, like that. Okay. <laughs> well, I didn't go up. That's okay. It'll be fine. It doesn't have to be exactly like I did it before, right? Now we want to add our embellishments. Um, it's just dies, the for you. Let me get that back. What is it, love for you dies? Yeah, love for you dies. And here's the sheet that has all of them. Okay, so we're gonna take one of the medium size ones. And the small one. And then another smallie over here. I like my original one better. I always say I do a better job. Uh, I do a jet. A blur, blur. I do a better job of stamping when I'm standing because I don't usually sit. But filming my face and the desk and what have you, it is better. Um, it's better for me to sit. Yeah. Okay, so I'm using some white twine. Come here. Actually, I threaded both ends. Okay. 
Ugh. I got straight. <laughs> Don't lick twine when you're on a video. I, I got string on my tongue. It's like, ugh, nasty. Okay, so did y'all see what I just did? I threaded both and, you know, looped it. And then now I'm going to take it under. First, make sure you get it where you want it. And then... And then I just knot it. Somebody's going to flame me on that one. I just know it. Okay. What do you think? Pretty stinking cute, right? Um, where's the freesia paper from? You mean this one? Same pack of paper. Yeah, same pack of paper. If that's what you're asking. Yeah. Um, delightfully eclectic. It's a fabulous pack of paper. It's a very strange pack. But if you look at each sheet individually, it's really fabulous. Yeah. Okay, so uh, I'm going to show y'all the, uh, the um, YouTube Chick Candy. So the way that you guys are going to enter to win, you have from now, tonight, when the video ends in the comment section on YouTube. So on YouTube is where you're gonna leave your comment. I use Comment Picker to choose the winner. This week, I'm giving away to one person, so it's one, one chick candy, this little small tote. I made this on Saturday. Isn't it so cute? Oh my gosh, I just love it. So it, the person that's gonna win is gonna get the bag and a pack of Country Gingham Designer Series paper, a gingham embossing folder, and the matte decorative dots. Now, if you're if you don't like the fabric bag, you don't have to take it. You can just ask me to send you an assortment of designer series paper. Because I know fabric stuff isn't doesn't float everyone's boat. And I don't want you to take it if you're gonna just throw it in the garbage, right? So yeah. So all you have to do is leave a comment on this video and you have from now until, I'll, I will draw the winner about five o'clock um, next Tuesday so that I can announce the winner. And again, um, the winner from last week was Judy. So Judy, I just need your address and I will send out your uh, prize. And this is what she, what, this is what she won the big large um, fabric basket and all this stuff. Okay, so um, we have, I forgot to put the measurements on the screen for y'all. So here's the measurements. I will have the inspiration sheet and the box template on my blog tomorrow. And, um, oh, we were talking about watching a live watching me sew live okay so this weekend when I was sewing um <laughs> Cliffy says she wants it uh, how do you how do you enter on the live you can't enter to win on the live because I can't reply I can't draw names from the chat box it just doesn't work so um you have to use the comment section so as soon as the video is over leave a comment on the video yeah, as soon as it's over, you can go over there and leave a comment. Uh, there was an ex there was exactly 100, 100 names um, when I used Comment Picker today. There was a hundred names um, that it drew from. So not a lot of people. I I guess not very many people wanted it. I'm not sure. Um, so anyway, so we were talking about last week about me sewing live, and so I decided. Um, I tried to figure out how to go live and sew, and the whole setup that I have in here does not work for sewing. So I decided that um, when I reach a thousand subscribers on my sewing channel, which is Sew Chicken Scratch, it's on the screen right there, then I will work out a whole system. But I'm not doing it until I reach a thousand. So if y'all want to watch me uh, sew live, 
um, there, there's the link, okay? Yeah, I can't do it on this channel because too many people will unsubscribe. They'll be like, oh God, she's sewing. I'm out of here. Um, <laughs> it's true. I promise. I read the comments that I get and I know that people unsubscribe when I share sewing stuff. But that's okay. I'm like, I'm, I'm, <laughs> this sounds morbid, but it's like, okay, half my life is already over. Even more than that. So from this point forward, I'm doing what I what I what my heart desires. I love paper crafting and I love sewing and I'm doing both of them. But I don't want to scare off my very dear customers <laughs> and followers. Does that make sense? Uh, and I'm not looking up. I'm looking over here because I know there was one more thing that I wanted to. Um, oh, I want to give y'all the link again to enter the win the instant prizes because we're fixing to draw those really quickly. Um, so here, this, here's the link to enter to win the instant prizes. Yeah, that's, that's what I normally say. It's like, okay, it, it probably a half to three quarters of my life is already passed. So from this point forward, I have to do what makes my heart happy, right? Oh, and I was also going to show y'all other things that fit inside the box. Um, so I'm going to show you these little things real quick. While people are going over there to enter win, see these things here? I don't know what they're called. I can't remember. But that will also fit in here. So four mini moon pies. These little yummy peanut butter yumminess. Um, and I think I showed y'all the other cookies. Yeah, Oreos will fit in here. A little uh, thing of Oreos. Okay. Um, I forgot to say, I probably missed all the questions that were asked tonight. I know I looked up and saw a couple, um, but if I missed a question and it was important to you, here is my email address, uh, helpdesk at chickenscratch.com. I'm going to put this on here so you can see it. Just shoot me an email. Um, E my email box is just filled, my regular email box, not this one. This is the one I want y'all to always use. My regular email box is being flooded with 5,000 spammers. I'm sure as all of y'all's are too, right? Uh, so this one creates a ticket and it stays open until I've answered you. So that's why I continue to promote Help Desk at Chicken Scratch because um, if someone's sends me spam, I click it, and then it blocks them forever. Unlike our email where we try to click that it's spam, but it don't work. Anyway, don't get me on a soapbox, right? So one more reminder, my host code um, that I currently have is valid until the 15th, and then we will have a new host code. So in a couple days, we'll have a new one. And I think that's it, yeah. Uh, can I post the link in the chat? Um, is it for the sewing? Let me see if I can get that. Um, yeah. I think I think you want the sewing link. I'm not sh totally sure. Copy and paste. Okay, so if y'all want to subscribe to that channel, um, that's where I will go live. I'm still gonna post my sewing videos on here on Chicken Scratch, but to go live, it's gonna be on the other channel. Yeah, I can't lose my people. Um, okay, let's do the live prizes now. So I'm gonna share my screen. Um, let me pull up the form real quick. Let's see how many, um, let's get the live prizes. This is the first one, this is the second. So now, um, let me hide that. And I'm gonna hide this, and I'm gonna hide this. And then now I'm gonna go pull up the form. Let's see how many we have. Oh, oh. Okay, Angie. Today is the 13th. 
We have 102 people that have entered to win. And so I am going to close, um, I'm gonna close it now. And then, um, and then I'm gonna copy and paste. I need my uh, keyboard. Okay, I wanna copy all of them. Command C, and then go over to Will of Names. And paste. I'm gonna delete the first one because that's the title. Okay, now I'm gonna share my screen so that y'all can see everybody's name on here. Okay, can you see the screen? <laughs> okay, Lori, and I'll recap these in just a minute as soon as I'm done drawing the names. Lori Gleason, remove. Now we're going to draw the next one. And if you guys don't want the prize that you're that you won, you can ask for a a, a, a sample of designer series paper. And I will send that instead, okay? I don't want people getting stuff that they don't want. So Tracy, congrats. You've won at the pond. Remove. I think you've won before. Your name is familiar. Joanne Young. Uh oh I misspelled your name. There we go. Okay, let's turn off the share screen. And are y'all there? Yes, there you are. Okay, so I'm going to show you the names really quick. Uh, Joanne won the Sit, Stay, and Relax stamp set. So I do need your mail and address. If your name was drawn, I need your... Can y'all see that? Yeah, I need your mail and address. Uh, Lori, you won the Stampin' Mat, and then Tracy at the Pond. So if any of you guys, if you don't, any of the winners don't want this, let me know and I can send you just a sampling of some designer series paper. Yeah. Okay, uh, any last minute questions before I sign off? I'm going to try to scroll back just a little bit and see if I missed any, but um, I usually afterwards see like a ton of comments that I missed. I don't know why, I just, yeah. So here's all the projects again, so that y'all can see them. Um, and, oh, I wanted to give y'all one other note too. Oh, by the way, Olivia is nine months old today. Can you believe that? Uh, Melissa, will you send me an email and I will give it to you and you have to thank me later. <laughs> Not thank me. You have to tell me when you eat them, right? Because, oh my gosh, they're so they're so yummy. You're going to love them. Now, what was I saying? I was saying something. Becky, David's upstairs cooking dinner. <laughs> hey, you never called me last week. You said you were going to, remember? You forgot. Um, okay, I was, think I was saying something too, and now I forgot. Um, send a... Uh, Cynthia, yes, I will be doing bingo again, but I'm not announcing any bingo events or scheduling anything like that until after my test. Um, I see the surgeon on Thursday, and um, I won't have an answer on Thursday, but I'm, the health stuff is still not passed yet, so I'm not scheduling anything until I know whether or not I'm going to need surgery and have to recover because it, it's better for me to just not have a bingo event right now than schedule one and then cancel one and then schedule one like it, it it's best to be consistent and I can't be consistent right now if I'm going to need surgery so I'm holding off until that's decided and I'm hoping and praying that I do not need surgery I do not want another surgery especially not right now um Okay, I'm scrolling to see. Oh, thank you, Judy. 
Oh, I love my pink keyboard too. Wow, look at the adhesive. Look at the dirt on that. <laughs> it's all adhesive because this is my Stampin' Desk. Yeah, I have the pink iMac and the pink keyboard. Um, let's see. Okay, I think I'm gonna, I'll read the comments later, but if you guys want me to answer you, then just um, shoot me an email, yeah. Oh, I was talking about Olivia. Yeah, she's nine months old today, and I ordered her a little, uh, we're going to the lake house for the fourth. Oh, that was what I was gonna tell y'all. So I'll be here next, next Tuesday, and I'll be here the next Tuesday, so every Tuesday in June. But July the 4th this year falls on a Tuesday. So if you want to mark your calendar in advance, I will not be stamping live uh, on July 4th. I'm going to move it to July 6th. And that's actually the day that the online exclusive um, sale special starts. Uh, which works out fine. So on July 4th, we're going to move it to the 6th, 7 p.m., same time, just two days later. Um, oh, I was going to show you all the, the little life vest that I got Olivia today, or it arrived. Look at how cute this thing is. She's going to be so cute in that thing. I can't wait to see her in it. Yeah, do I have a current picture of her? Um, Jess, Jess sent me a picture of her this morning. Um, let's see if I can find it real quick and I'll show you. I, I mean, oh, here it is. So here's her nine month sign. And, <laughs> and of course it's in her mouth. She's got two little baby teeth, the two, two on the very bottom. She's getting so big. Gosh. Okay. Um, I think I told y'all everything now. Yeah. Nine months. Isn't that hard to believe? Okay, those of you that want the cookie recipe, just just send me an email. Cause you know what? I wonder if it's on my blog. Hold on. Let's uh let's go look real quick. Give me one second. I think it's actually on my blog. I think, I think, I think that I posted it on there in the event that something ever happens. Um, dream cookies. Oh yeah. I'm going to show y'all this blog post. I'm going to share my screen real quick. Can y'all see my screen? Okay. So look on November 14th of 2010, I put, I've had so many requests for my dream cookies that I decided to post the recipe. So here's the cookie recipe. And then down here is the frosting. And then here is, um, here's a picture of them. I wish it was bigger, but it's not. Um, but I put warning, give some of these cookies to a friend or otherwise you'll find your, yourself having them for breakfast, lunch, and supper. And it's the truth. But you do have to keep these in the refrigerator. They, because of the, the frosting, because it's cream cheese, uh, they have to go in the fridge, okay? But, oh my gosh, if you make them, would you please let me know? Because, I, yeah, now it makes me want them. Oh, I better um, stop showing my screen, right? There we go. <laughs> Are y'all still there? Yes. Um, I hope I'm not going to have surgery. I hope. I'm hoping that they say I don't have to. I'm hoping. Yes, I'm hoping. I don't even want to talk about it because I don't want to jinx myself. You know what I mean? I'm like, I'm praying that everything's all is all is well. Everything's good. I had some biopsies last fall, winter, and um, it wasn't the best results. So we're hoping that everything is okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the little life jacket had teal and pink. Yeah, it was multicolor. So it's, yeah. Okay, I'm going to sign off. I'll see you guys uh, next Tuesday live. The pro the um, inspiration sheet will be on my blog tomorrow, the box template, but it will be later in the afternoon because I have, I have a recall on my vehicle, so in the morning I've got to go get that taken care of. So it will be in the afternoon. Okay, you guys have a great night. Thank you so much for being here.